Hi, my name is Matt, and I'm with ICM Controls. Today we're at Upstate Systems York Factory Training Center in Syracuse, New York. Today we're going to be looking at and installing the ICM 495. This is a 60 amp non-fuse disconnect designed to protect your single phase 120, split phase 240 equipment such as air conditioners, heat pumps, mini splits, uh, pool, spa, and many other items. The ICM 495 is a low cost option to protect your expensive equipment from transient surges. Where do transient surges come from? Lightning strikes, power outages and recoveries, downed power lines, the startup of larger equipment, equipment failure, short circuits, and many other sources. So before we get into installation, let's check out some of the external features on the ICM 495. Right here you'll see there's a uh, green LED indicator light that shows that you are protected against surge. There are several knockouts Four on the outside, three on the back, uh, for, so you can pick however you need to get into the box with your wiring, whichever is easiest. So internally, I'll take this apart. With the non-fuse disconnect version, you'll see it's wide open. There's plenty of room to access the mounting holes. So in the upper section here, you'll see the field replaceable surge protector which has a best-in-class maximum surge protection rating of 100,000 amps. It is constructed with two high-quality TMOVs. It is, you can see here, it is factory wired, so you don't have to do anything extra. As with some of the competitors, you actually have to take a knockout out and wire it in yourself. You'll also notice up here the large braided grounding strap, which is connected to the cover and the box, which makes the, our entire unit a UL listed product. And lastly, this is a NEMA Type 3R enclosure. Now let's get it installed. I'm just gonna get a one mounting screw up here so we can hang our unit and then secure it on the wall. Now again, depending on where you're mounting this, you can use concrete screws, drywall screws, plastic anchors, whatever you need to get it securely mounted. You can easy access to the top screw so you can get that secured. Okay. So here we're gonna use the two bottom mounts, the two knockouts, we'll get those knocked out. There we go, okay. Installs just like any other non-fuse disconnect. Power in, power out. Put these on for strain release. From the factory, the surge protector is pre-wired to the line lugs uh, on the disconnect here. So we're just gonna loosen the screws. Just do one wire at a time, make sure the uh, wire didn't fall out. Make sure that's tight. Move on to the other side. Definitely good practice to hook up the either load side first or line side first, but um, just be consistent. So now we'll hook up the ground. You do have enough room to get this up in there with the other ground. That's wired in from the factory. Over 
here. Might as well hook up the other ground. Okay. Now we'll hook up L1 of the load. And keeping the colors of the wires the same as possible. And that's all there is to installing the wires on our ICM 495. Once we're all wired, put the cover back on, put the disconnect in, and turn your power on, you should see this green light here illuminate, which means you're protected against your surge. If it's not on, double check your wiring, make sure your power, uh, you have power, make sure it's wired right, that, that one of the leads didn't come out of the uh, terminal blocks. And that concludes our installation of the American-made ICM 495. As with all ICM Controls products, there is a QR code on the product box that when you scan it, it takes you to the product page at ICM Controls for the installation manual, troubleshooting guides. If you have any questions on this product or any other product at ICM Controls, please visit icmcontrols.com.